Hey brother, Stuart Matola, Men's Relationship Coach here. I hope you're having a great day today. And in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about a deeper piece that most men miss out when they're trying to fix their marriage or relationship, and instead, how they stay on the top level. So this video is for you if you're experiencing a sense of not being enough for your partner or your wife, or if you've hit a wall, or you're circling in the same fights, or you're experiencing a sexless marriage, and you're just not getting your needs met in your marriage or relationship. So hang out, I'm gonna give you some tips and tools that are gonna help you in this video. So up front, I see three ways in which guys come to me and think that they need to do these three things in order to fix their marriage. One that I see is a man will say, well, I need to step up more into my manhood. I need to be more of an alpha male with her. I need to you know, enter that dominant role. And I see a lot of videos and coaches out there on the internet talking about you know, being the alpha, taking charge, not letting her walk on you, yada, yada, yada. But the problem is that's not dealing with the deeper problem underneath. Another thing that I see is that guys will say, well, she's just not logical. She's not rational. She's, you know, I'm a rational, logical guy. And, and you know, she's just uh, really emotional. And I, I can't get a hand on what's really going on because, you know, she just doesn't make any sense. Well, dude, the reality is in that moment, you're expecting her to be a dude. Okay. She's a woman. She's much more connected to her emotions. She was raised with more permission to have connection to her emotions than you were as a guy. Okay. And the third piece that I'll see is a transactional mindset where a guy says, well, you know, I've been trying to, you know, take out the trash more, be present, do more with the kids, clean up in the house more. Uh, you know, so it's this mindset of doing A to get B. And then he's disappointed because she's not showing up more in the bedroom or she's not, you know, connecting with him more emotionally, okay? Transactional mindset's not gonna get you what you want in your relationship. Now, all these three things, whether it's the alpha male dumb thing that a guy's trying to do, or, you know, he wants her to be more logical, or he wants her, you know, to 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 do B when he does A, this, this will not get what you want in your marriage or relationship, okay? And the reason being, and it came out in a story with a 26-year-old man I was talking to recently, you know, young guy, doesn't have a lot of experience in life and relationship, but you're really wanting to learn. And he was going into the whole Dom videos and, you know, how to be the dominant male. And I said, dude, the problem with that stuff, and this goes true for all this transactional stuff or these tactics that I mentioned, is that it doesn't deal with the deeper wound underneath and explicitly the deeper mother wound. His eyes popped out of his head. He was like, whoa, what's that? I was like, and let me offer this to you. Think about your relationship with your mother. If you can go back there, a lot of guys can't. It's like they've blanked out their memories, but see if you can go back to when you were two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. Did you get your emotional needs met by your mother? A lot of guys say, yeah, my mom was great. And you know, she was there, etc. But when I say, were you able to talk to your mother about what was happening for you in your heart? at the age of eight, 10, 12, 14, okay. did you get your emotional needs met by your mother? Nine times out of 10, you did not because she was busy working or your dad was the dominator and she shut down or you know she just had other things going on and she wasn't there for you. So the reality, brother, is your relationship with your mother impacts your relationship with all women. And the problem with these top tactics of alpha male or you know, being the logic guy or the transactional guy is you're trying to get needs met that your mother didn't meet from your wife by doing these tactics instead of going to the deeper work of just looking at how your hurt is really a result of this deeper wound and until you go to the source of the deeper wound, all those tactics and strategies are just gonna be dancing around the symptom. The alpha male is typically a little hurt boy inside, just trying to get into a more powerful position. And until you do the deeper work of noticing that you are trying to get that wound, that emptiness filled by her, and energetically she feels it and it feels gross and it can feel like mothering. So the work, brother, is to notice the difference between her and your attachment to her, because your attachment is grounded into that attachment 
Those attachment needs that did not get met by the first woman in your life. So you have to pull that stuff back to you, work with that. A lot of times that has to do with working with that younger child within you, taking care of it, helping it out, letting it know that it's loved and being the father for it that you never had. And yes, even the caring mother. Now, a lot of guys won't do that. It feels too woo woo, too new agey, yada, yada, yada. But it's warrior's work at the end of the day because it also gets to a man's grief. The grief of not getting what you expected to get in your marriage. Because when you married, you had dreams and hopes of connectivity, sexuality, planning a life together, and then you grew apart. And that is really freaking painful, brother. I know I've been there. And the deeper work of that grief reclaiming that part of you that you disowned that did not get his needs met as a young child that's your work that's not hers bring that back to you get guidance with that that's the work i do with men i'll leave links to my work below brother i hope this was helpful and have a kick-ass day